Jay to score seven times in, in any game is a, is a real achievement. But to do it at National League North level, that performance today, you've just said there, is it one of the best in your tenure at this club? I think it ranks right up there, doesn't it? You know, I mean, any team that beats Billy Heath's team 7 1 um, is a fantastic achievement. Um, especially after they've come back off the back of a 2 0 win away at Ashton um, and, and they were full of confidence. But they put seven goals, and to be honest, it could have been eight or nine in the end. Um, and their goal was, it was a blatant push. So I'm absolutely delighted, you know. I mean, it could have been the pitch, I mean, sorry, the, the, the weather was atrocious. Um, and the second half could have been a real tight knit affair, um, especially when they scored the, f the first <coughs> to go 3 1. And in the second half, I thought, like you say, it had been a real tough, tough uh, second half and would have had to dig deep and, and, and backs to the wall stuff, but, but it, was, it wasn't that. You know, we got stronger, we got fitter, we, we, we scored great goals. You know, and it's testament to the players, you know, and I say this every week, you know, we've got a real togetherness in that in that dressing room and it stems from the management and it stems from the, the togetherness of the club. Um, we're all in it together. Uh, and I'm just racking my brains about, you know, a Conference North level, it's a tough, tough league this and, and to score seven goals away is, is, is an unbelievable achievement. And you mentioned the spirit of the side there. It's been mentioned many times this season, the camaraderie in the dressing room amongst the staff, amongst the players, amongst everyone at the club. And I think it proved it in the celebrations, even watching the lads all celebrate together. Is that one of the main reasons you think why we're doing so well this season, that spirit in the dressing room? Yeah, I think I instill that from, from the, any team that I put together. Um, it, that's a strength of mine. I think you know, you know, we're a, we're a real together group, and we've had that all all season. We had it last year again. Um, but I think this is a real strong group. You know, we've got lads who, who travel in from Manchester. We've got lads in travel from Sheffield. Never miss a session. You know, absolutely Tuesday, Thursday, uh, always there, always there um, on time. You know, and, and they're enjoying it. And, you know, and I promised them at the start of the season that you know, if you buy into what we're looking for at this club, then then you'll enjoy every minute of it. And and, and that's been proven right at the moment. Look, it's a long way to go, um, but you've just got to enjoy moments like this because, like you say, it's it, it's to beat beat a team who who've just come off the back of a two 0 win and beat them seven one and beat, beat them convincingly on their own backyard is is brilliant for everybody concerned with a football club, not just the the 14 that went on the pitch, but you know the the, the backroom staff and, and, and the, the the supporters who travelled again, who never stopped singing in, 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 in horrendous conditions, and they can say today that they were here to witness a performance like that. And as you said, like, we're going to enjoy today, enjoy the moment, a brilliant result. But Stockport on Tuesday, we have nothing to fear going in that game now. We have nothing to fear against any team in this league. You know, as long as you put your mind to it, we're a good side. Um, we've, we've got got a lot of uh, plaudits along the way. But it, again, another game that's going to be a real tough, tough game. Um, but you're going off, you're going in on, into Tuesday night with the back of a very, very good win. You know, it could have been different if you're going off the back of a defeat again. Especially having not having to play for two weeks after last week's game got postponed. The last time we played after a two weeks break at Geisley, I thought we huffed and puffed. Didn't show a, little, a lot of creativity, you know. Really worked hard, but today I think this had everything. You know, even on a, on, a, on the pitch is fantastic here, but even when it was soaked with water, some of the football we played was exceptional. Um, and like you said, Sparty could have topped it off with the eighth goal. Then I don't think there's many teams in this level um, will go away from home and score seven.